Hi, this is Tatanisha with A Mitten Fellow Savings, and today we're going to talk about how to organize your receipts. As a couponer and as a person that you're going out there and you're looking for all those really good deals, you're going to accumulate a lot of receipts, kind of like this. And I've kind of organized them just a little bit, but they were just a pile of mess just a minute ago, and I have some over here. So the easiest method that I found is I actually use an Excel um, spreadsheet. And it's here I have um, a link posted on my blog where you can find um, the Excel spreadsheet. If you go to mittenfellowsavings.com and you go under Coupon Basics and then uh, um, down to Coupon Resources, I actually found one a few years ago from the Coupon Project. She has an Excel spreadsheet that she created and she updates it every single year. And it's just awesome because... It does all the work for you. All you have to do is punch in the numbers and it does it for you. So there is a link here where you can go to the couponproject.com um, and be able to download the savings tracker. And it works for Excel, I mean for, for the Macs and for PCs. And then once you have it, this is kind of what it looks like on a Mac version. And see here at the top? It talk it shows you like all see so you put your um, line entries down here so for every receipt that you have sometimes I will lump the receipts together if it's if I did like four transactions at Kroger I will just lump them all together in one date instead of having four dates for Kroger if that makes sense and then you put the shelf cost which is the total you spent before any coupons before any discounts before any mega sale prices before what what the retail value was there and then any coupons you would put here any other discounts any rebates any like ecbs um registry rewards all those things would be factored in here or you got a rebate after the fact and then you would get your total savings in this column and then it'll tell you the amount that you pay out of pocket after everything is done so after your catalinas after all that is done this is the amount that you paid and then to tell you your savings rate and I like to see this. I like to be able to see, okay, how am I doing this month? You know, I like to try to save above 50% um, when possible. And then it automatically puts in all this information up here. So to tell you, okay, this is how you're doing for the month of April at a glance. So, so far for April, our retail value has been $657. Our coupon savings was $335. Total we spent so far for April was $271.88. And so if I have a budget and say my budget is $300, that's how much I'm going to spend for food, hygiene, all those things per month. And I can be able to see, all right, you know, how am I saving? Did I go over? Anything like that. And then it will be able to show me. So here, after my rebates, this is what I paid was $271.88. So this is a super easy method. Like I said, all you got to do is just punch in your information. So I usually will look at my receipts. And like for Meyer, um, at the top, it'll tell you, um, they just actually updated the receipts recently. It'll tell you what your total savings um, since the beginning of the year. And then it'll show you what your savings was for this trip. So total savings for this trip was $16.28. And then if I go down to the bottom and I add how much I actually spent was $2.69. And so I add those two together to get what my full retail value was, which was $18.98. So I will punch that in there and then let the math do the rest. For Kroger's, you will find your savings more towards the bottom. So total savings was 63%. So I saved $47.19. And then you add that with the amount that you actually spent to get your total retail value with that. So I do like it. Uh, I love it when the stores make it easy and they, they break your receipts up for you and show you what you saved, how much you spent. I wish Walmart did that, but thankfully I don't shop too much at, at Walmart. Um, so Kroger does it, Target does it, Meyer does it. Those are the, the three stores that I usually shop at the most, but the drugstores do it as well. And so again, using this savings tracker, you just punch in your numbers. It automatically does the math for you, so no thinking. And then boom, you're done. Save it. Um, what I usually do once I get done is I put the receipts in an envelope, and then I file them away, and then I'm done. And I love the... the um, Saving tracker because I have been using it for the last few years, so I can able to go back and look and see what it has been last year around this time. So making sure that I'm staying on budget and what I need to do. Plus, as the food rises, I want to see okay, did I spend more in the month of March compared to last year and the prices that were available last year? So this is it. Like I said, a very 
easy, user-friendly um, way to track your savings and to make sure that you're staying in budget. Because what's the point of couponing and saving money if you're actually still spending more each month than you're actually supposed to be saving? So again, you can go to our website, mintfullofsavings.com to find it or go directly to the couponproject.com to be able to find the saving tracker, download it, and start using it today.